Alright guys, welcome to set 16, let's play Dragon Age 2, my rogue playthrough. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, before we get on, I'm going to explain something quickly, and then we'll get into the final set of Dragon Age 2. Alright, first and foremost, um, we'll be doing the DLC Legacy. Now, this DLC is pretty cool, it actually ties into the main story of the next game, but there is something important you need to know. This DLC, as well as the Mark of the Assassin DLC, are glitched... <laughs> or have a, 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 a save breaking uh, bug attached to them. I'm going to be saying this in both the Let's Plays and K, in both the sets, in case people just decide I want to check out the Legacy playthrough or Mark the Assassin because I don't know how to do A or B. So, the game breaking bug comes about when you, you have a item from Mark of the Assassin in your inventory when playing um, Legacy or vice versa. This is because some of the item values in both of the DLCs are the same, which causes a, con a conflict in the script, breaking your save files. Now by save files, I mean save files. Plural. If you have multiple characters built or saved on your console like I do, they'll all become corrupt, and you can't play any of them. <clears throat> um, so I believe the only way to fix that is just delete the, the corrupted one itself, but I'm not going sure on that, so, yeah. Now, there are ways around this. Um, one of the ways is very simple. It's the way I'm doing it. Wait until the end of the game, uh, beat the DLCs then, but still doing it where you only play through one DLC on the save file. For example, um, excuse me. I already saved over it, but yeah. This was originally where my save file for Mark of the Assassin was. I saved over once I got right here, so I don't cause, cause any glitches. Uh, this is the w save file right after I beat the game, and yeah, basically load this up, have a third, have a second save slot ready to go, uh, play through Mark the Assassin, Assassin so you get the story, reload the one after the game, final ga uh, the, after the final boss fight, then play through Legacy, saving over your Mark the Assassin DLC. Um, another way to do it, but I'm fairly certain there's still instances of where it can still corrupt your save file is after you beat one of the DLC, you delete all of the items that were you got from that DLC. There are a lot of items, so I was I just I don't want to go through with that problem. Um, there is a key item in Legacy you, you can keep. It's its own unique item value, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a quest item we'll get throughout the course of it, so keep that in mind. Um, I highly advise, if you're playing this, um, also make sure you have a backup already done. I have backups for all three of my characters already saved to the online PlayStation Plus um, storage system, so I don't have to worry about that at all. If my files become corrupt, especially for an install, I can just reload it and I'll be fine. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's that, so let's go! <laughs> Legacy is up here. It is the Griffin statue. Now... Cool thing about this is you can still technically play this early on. As in, as soon as you get to Gamlin's house, you can a gain access to these uh, statues if you want to. Um, I decided to wait till later on. Um, I'm fairly certain it changes the um, uh, story a bit. Like I believe if you go before uh, the deep roads, Varric will mention if you bring him with you that um, uh, what's we're looking for. That uh, you can use this money for the expedition or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But if you have a chance to bring your sibling with you, um, mostly because it gives a very interesting little side story. It does involve your. It does involve the Hawk family entirely. So yeah. Anyway, let's go. I'm not going to say what it involves with the Hawk family, so... Yeah, I hope you guys get ready for the surprise. I have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains, and a secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. 
And why would I find that interesting? Because the champion was there. I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family and a few Carter dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. There it is. That's where these dwarves are? These are Carter dwarves, so they're more criminals and smugglers than anything else. They're not usually stupid, though. I don't know why they'd attack you. They're bold. They snuck into the Warden Keep at Ansberg to get at me. <laughs> don't feel left out. They've been trying to kill me for several days now. You have a plan, then? I found their hideout, but my sources couldn't tell me anything else. It's all very strange. Why do you say that? It's just the Carter, isn't it? As far as my contacts in the Carter know, they shouldn't be here. There shouldn't even be a here. Well, this place is invisible. A big blind spot on the map. Bianca's never been this suspicious, and she's twitchy to start with. Does it matter? We just need them to stop trying to kill us. A fine point. So, what's the plan? Oh, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Later, we'll all have tea and we'll laugh. Oh, your name is Hawk. I thought it was Locke. <laughs> I can't believe you two are joking about this. <laughs> Don't worry, Sunshine. The laughter just hides the pain. I just don't want them attacking your mansion again. What if I'm there naked? That would be awkward. Is there anyone who hasn't seen you naked? No. I mean, I'd only have three daggers. That would be awkward. At least the Wardens let me come. I can't leave an attack like this unanswered. If you need me, I'll be keeping watch. Try not to get yourselves killed. That was adorable. You bring Varric with you for some other little interesting stuff, but we'll stick as it is. The Carter doesn't usually kill other dwarves, does it? I thought that was a rule. Hell if I know. <laughs> Actually, as far as I know, the Carter, Carter don't really give a flying fuck. Do you hear that? Well, it's kind of hard to uh, Look, ignore, you know. The Carter has people watching us. <laughs> All right. By the bones. What's that? Shut the fuck up, guys. It's annoying as hell. Hello? Any Carter here? Ah! A dwarf. You. Both sisters. You're here together. You've come. Is he referring to you and me? Everyone! It's the children of Malcolm Hawk! They've come to us! What does my father have to do with this? It began with him, and ends with you. Blood for blood, that's what we were told. Did... father do something to the Carter? You've come to us now, and that's the only thing that matters. You tell me! How could I refuse such a delightfully worded invitation? We must have the blood! You don't understand. Oh, blood. Why didn't you just ask? We will take it. Corypheus will walk in the sun once more. Ah, lovely. Alright, let's, keep, let's keep, make our way to this Corypheus bitch. Come on. Don't work. Have you. That's fine. Right, you guys take care of them, I'll take care of these guys over here. Actually. Kick! <laughs> I forgot I keep forgetting how powerful that grenade is. It's so nice. Support! Stab. Alright. So there actually is a uh, little side quest that you can do in this game as well, this DLC. 
Um, I'm not going to do it on Nexus, and probably not in Ansal. Uh, I'll have to see on that last one. But, it involves a pretty cool fight. Um, if you want to see a 100% playthrough of this DLC, uh, check the Lilith playthrough. I will mention, though, the, um, the quest that I'm not going to be doing. Just remember this area specifically. Oh, Bronto! Now that I think about it, we haven't fought any Bronto in, uh, 2. Well, to be fair, we haven't uh, come across dwarves that often. If we, if we have, they've usually been nice. Well, kinda. Depends your definition of nice. There you go. Still charging. Step. E. Alright, it's back here. Need that key. There we go. Ha! Now you're dead. Alright, let's level these two up. Crazy people like blood. A lot. True. These dwarves are clearly deranged. No, nah, what gave it away? All set. Qua. Give me that. <sighs> Someday I'll visit a place with no ancient evils, horrors, devouring plagues, or insanity. Maybe a beach. Will you look at that? <laughs> a fortress. Here in the middle of nowhere. I'll see a fortress. Oh, there's the fortress. Okay. Alright. They're kind of like a rock formation in the background. So I'm going to have to rush this DLC. I don't have a lot of space left on my hard drive. And I still need to record uh, an Ansal set for set 10. That was the most recent set that's uploaded today. So yeah. This goes to show you how far in advance I'm recording this set. Well, that was better than Lilith. Uh, I recorded her, this set for her like I was in set, uh... Eight? I think? Somewhere around there. Maybe set nine. Another Bronto! Step you! Come on, come on, come on! Get back here, you! Ow. Fucking Bronto! Sturdy motherfuckers, I have to give him that. Have they leveled up? More? <sighs> More Karna. Alright, let's kill him. Leave Isabella and Aveline alone! Well, Isabella, mostly. Yeah, get rid of you! Come on. Oh, there we go. God damn it! Hello! Sturdy fuckers, aren't they? So many, too. Where's the... There it is! Alright! More? Yeah, there's more! Shit! Well, one more at least. Hi! God fucking damn it! Just die and stay- More! They're spawning from this fucking room! Are you done? Jeez. Still locked. Not going to happen. It is. Then the key's down here, though. Fancy. I'm glad, Mother. Well, she didn't need to deal with this. 
attacks on both of us. Why couldn't they go after Gamlin? Good taste. <laughs> I wish the things waiting in the dark had such a discerning palate. It'd be almost comforting. Understandable, instead of what I've seen. It's not what I would have chosen this life, but given everything else we've lost. Well, you do this for a few years. You learn not to take second chances for granted. Spiffy. All right. That noise. Geeky. Perfect. Alrighty then. Ah, uh, Carter Horde. Right? Nope. Don't use Mythal's favor on them. That'd be a waste of a grenade and a Mythal's favor. Shit! <laughs> I love my grenades! My bow grenades are so amazing. Come on. Almost. There we go! Yay! That was fun. That. Here. Watch your step. Alright, dismantle that. Alright, throw that trap. There we go. God damn it, Aveline. Ow. I blame you, Aveline. You didn't take your time. Right, you. You good? You good. Let's go. There's more stuff we could have done up there. Uh, mostly looting, so. Eh, not important. Come on. Kinda in a hurry here. If I'm quick enough, I may be able to beat this in an hour to an hour and a half. Has to be quick though. Damn it! You triggered the trap. Right, there you go. I've seen a lot, but a dwarf blood mage? Not likely. Yeah. And what does this have to do with father? I guess we only get that answer from Corypheus. Alright. Open. Has been bad to use them, I guess. Can I? I can! Alright, let's get rid of those assets up there first. That's just distracting. But not as distracting as uh, Bethany casting a fireball up there just to attack one archer. Right, let's go, Isabella. Hi. How the hell did you get up here so quickly, Abilene? Warren Scout Boots. Part of the Regalia of Weishaupt. Uh, the Regalia of Weissop set is the um, warden-themed armor you can get in this game. Um, Bethany currently has the mage for uh, variant equipped, and it looks fairly, uh, the rogue one looks fairly similar to it as well, just not entirely. Right? And uh, the one Str uh, Stout was wearing was the one that, uh, the Warriors uh, version. Alright, we good? We good. Alright, this item in here, Warm Orb. R warm Orb? Yeah. If you go back to the area that uh, we started out where we fought, fought our first Bronto, with this in your inventory, there will be a um, small pillar obelisk thing there. If you uh, use this orb on that, you'll get a hidden boss fight. 
It's pretty cool. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But if you want to uh, check it out, feel free to. Once more to the deep roads. I remember when that seemed so daunting, full of promise. We were young and stupid. Let's hope we're not just older. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty cool fight. Really difficult. So uh, be careful. If you bring Varric with you, by the way, here, you can avoid this fight. Alright. Yeah, the fight that I mentioned anyway, uh, earlier, the secret boss fight, it's an um, annoying fight. It really is. I almost died with it. But, uh, on a Lilith. Varric was right. The deep roads do drive you batty. But uh, it's worth the fight. You get good EXP, EXP, and stuff as well. Right. Revolve you. Ah, mage, lovely. Do we kill him? And the fucker teleported. Of course he did. See, so why can't our mages uh, have that ability? It's so cool. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> oh boy. Also, throughout this DLC, you'll find uh, this and one more. It allows you to go back to your mansion if you need to. For resupplies or whatever you need. Um, there's a reason why it's outside this uh, gate specifically. Um, based off of your stats, you can get a different item. I'll explain later in greater detail after this. Ah, they told me you were going to be trouble. And look, you brought the whole family. How generous. I swore to Corypheus we'd bring him Malcolm Hawk's blood, one way or the other. Corypheus wants some blood? Sure. Let me just open a vein. Oh, how about a kidney, too? Corypheus, we have done as you command. Your sacrifice is here. You will see the surface once more. Right, sure. Come on. There we go. Teleport. Yeah, <laughs> your trap didn't work very well, did it? You didn't expect me to teleport behind you. Yeah. All right. Nope. Let's go with the Bronto. Wonka. Interesting name. Now Wonka's dead. All right. One more. One more. Then. That was easy. What the? <laughs> what is this? I can feel it inside me. I've never seen that before. This is going to take me to Corypheus. Okay, so what we got, it all back equipped to, is the Hawk Key. It sucks now, but later on it becomes a real deadly we deadly weapon. I'm actually going to equip that to my as my secondary. Um, what is cool about this weapon is it changes its appearance depending on your stats. Well, when you first get it, that is. What I mean by this is, let's say... Um, I'm, I'm a rogue, obviously. And so let's say I have more points in, under archery inst instead of dual wield. The hawk's key would turn into a bow instead. 
If you're a mage, it's always going to be a mage's staff. If you're a warrior, the more points you have in uh, your sword and shield, it'll be a long sword. If it's a two-handed sword, more than two-handed sword, it'll be a, a great sword. So it literally will be whatever weapon you are most proficient at. At the, of, ter, at the point of getting it, of course. But as I said earlier, we also can upgrade this toy, so it becomes just a little bit more deadly. There is a glitch to make this weapon absolutely broken as well. Um, I'll explain how to perform it, but I'm not going to do it. But it's actually pretty cool. I have done it before where I made the weapon broken, and it's just obscene how powerful that weapon can become. Those little buggers set a trap for us. <gasps> now we're stuck. I guess we should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should have. There was here for a reason. You point. I prefer towers filled with coin to towers filled with darkspawn, for future reference. I'll keep that in mind, hun. I can do that. All right. Now let's make this quick. We're more used to the city on the surface. I think <clears throat> I'll see how the familial epiphany turns out things. Yeah. I didn't expect you to listen, but be careful. You'll do what <clears throat> you need to. But these things don't always turn out the way you hope she... They will. Huh? Uh... You found your mother, didn't you? Okay, so... Last chance to change your party. Last chance for storage. Let's go! Genlocks! Have seen you guys in a while. Not since Origins. Well, I've seen you guys not too long ago. But uh, you guys haven't seen them since uh, Origins. Really like the improvement of the design, though. They look really freaking awesome. I'll explain the glowing lights in a second. One of you. Come on. You guys can die now. I know you can. Fucking hell, man. I must switch my dagger my, my daggers around. There we are. Wait. There we go. I don't know why, but the this on the offhand looks weird. Bound here for eternity. Hunger stilled, rage smothered, desire dampened, pride crushed. In the name of the Maker, so let it be. So this is a part of a Miss Trophy, Missable Trophy, as well as a unique armor or what piece. Um, I'll let this quest play out itself. Basically, we need to find these uh, marks of the build, uh, the binder. And then release the demon trapped inside the prison. And then kill it! Damn it! Well, it's quick enough. I will be once this gets out, though. <laughs> I just heard Isabella. If we kill them, we get their stuff! Damn it! Keeping an eye on that one. Alright, it's out. Damn, that's buggy. I could do nothing about the warden's use of demons in this horrid place. But I will have no one say any magic of mine ever released one into the world. Yeah. Did, did that voice sound familiar to you? 
I could almost swear. It sounded like father, but how? So this is involved in the Malcolm's Will quest. Something involving uh, the father happened here. I was going to check up again. Damn it! Damn my short-term memory! Right. We need to get back to Kirkwall, Hawk. Without me there, the guard won't be able to keep a lid on if it boils over. You'll be fine, don't worry. Small purse. Dungeon! Guess I could use that. Alright, nothing over there, don't even worry about that. They find it. The dwarves. I heard them looking, digging. How do you bring the key here? You mean this? How is this a key? Magic. Old magic it is. Magic from the blood. It made the seals. It can destroy them. Let me guess. You want to drink my blood, too? Blood? The blood of the hawk? Are you the hawk? I smell no magic on you. But you hold the key. The key to his death. Yes, I can show you out. Yes. Who are you? What's wrong with you? You ask me that? I am the one who belongs here, not you. You are no dark spawn. That's warden armor. Where did he get that? You hear it, no? Hear it calling. I smell it in you. I know the way out. Follow me. Down and in. Down and in. <laughs> because I always like to follow the advice of tainted, crazy people. Not crazy. No. Trust me. I know the prison's secrets. The seals hold us in. Anything comes in. Nothing ever leaves. Not without the key. You must use it, yes. On the seals. Every seal. You touch the key to it. Only then they open. Only for the hawk. Not back. Not up. Only way out is down and through the heart. Down, down in the depths. So, do we listen to the nice madmen, or are we setting up camp? Ah, oh, no, this is a nice place. We can set up camp. <laughs> Shit. Okay then, continue onwards, I guess. Warden's prison. Hmm. Watch out. The ground looks treacherous here. Showing concern for others, Isabella. <laughs> Tongues will wag. I just don't want to see your brains dashed on the ground. That's all. Stop looking at me like that. I shouldn't have said anything. Aww. How adorable. Our little Isabella starting to feel the feelings. Give me that. Well, to be fair, you won't see my brains dash on the ground because you won't really see me with all that fog there. You'll be fine. Right here's the seal. The guardian guarding the seal. Let's kill it! A really cool, unique pride demon, gotta say. Ow! Fucker. That was rude! I said that was rude. Stop it. Got him right in the center of the thing. Now you're dead. That's what you get. Let me guess. The first seal? Two thousand years. The magic holds. Never broken. Give it the key. Let it take the magic back to itself. Absorb it. All 
who came before. Okay, so we get upgrading the Maker's Key. To upgrade Malcolm Hawk's key, target one of the four pillars surrounding the seal to Grievous Prison and press X. Each pillar contains a different benefit and the key only absorbs the power of a single per seal. Now, while this is supposed to be true, you actually can glitch it. How you do this is by take God damn, you're still here. Is by going up to one of these signs. Oh, let's see here. This one. And uh, choosing to set everyone to hold position. Then take the next character, put them right in front of the next pillar, make sure the little eyeball appears. Go to the next, and the next. Make sure they're close enough to instantly um, uh, trigger it once you get done. They all have to be the same distance away from it for this to work. Alright, that should do. Now, to get the glitch to trigger, hold up this menu and lock onto the, uh, the pillar in front of your character. Press X so, when the, so the eyeball flashes, and switch to the next. Have them do the same all the way through, then release it. Now you'll know the, tr the glitch works if you get four cutscenes uh, in a row. It'll be the exact same cutscene, so you have to do it over and over and over again. Kind of annoying, but yeah, what can you do? Um, if you get any less than that, it means that the glitch didn't work. But you can just reload and try it again. Pretty much how it works. The blood works. It is good. All this talk about my blood is a little creepy. Are you at least planning to tell me your name? Name? So long since I've said my name. I... I... Lorias. I was Lorias. There was a, a title too. Commander. Commander of the Grey. A warden? Was this your... calling? Yes, the calling. The songs get louder. Only death stops them. I am dead. But I never died. I've opened the seal. Will the prison release me? There are more. Follow them in. All the way to the heart. Many locks. Only one key. <laughs> Corypheus calls. In the darkness. What waits there? Ominous. Alright. So before we go that way, let's go over here. Let's also turn off that weight so they can follow me again. Give me that. There. So yeah, you can get uh, each of the um, seals will have a different uh, uh, effect to it. This one was the innate stats effect, so we get an innate uh, lightning to this key, which is pretty cool. So this weapon now now automatically deals five damage of electric of electricity. Pretty fucking badass, in my opinion. Unlock Alpha. Now you can. Uh, is there a trophy of this uh, as well? It involves killing all the Alpha Darks when you come across. That's it. Hmm. I was expecting more. I know, right? I guess we need to look for the next seal. Now let's go. Right. Out through the back door. So yeah, we're going to come across a few more alphas, well, a alpha, one more alpha. If you kill um, all the types of dark spawn you find down here, you'll get a trophy. Guaranteed trophy you're going to get as you pass through here. Um, only missable trophy. Was there a missable trophy here? Let's look it up. Give me a second.
just pop it up the search, so that way I don't forget it when I, uh, continue playing. Because I know I'll forget it if I don't. 